Hey guys, welcome. This is the Real Estate Investing Mastery Podcast. I'm Joe McCall and I'm with Gavin Timms. How are you, Gavin? I'm good, Joe. How are you? I'm excited. I'm excited about this because we've done this challenge before and we've had tremendous success. There's some guys that you've heard of that are doing their own podcasts. They're rock star wholesalers. They're writing their own books now that have come out of this challenge that are crushing it right now. And my premise when I first thought of this a long time ago was real simple. Yeah, it's like, what's most important in this business? All right, is it studying and reading a bunch of books and watching a bunch of videos and listening to a bunch of podcasts? Well, that's important, right? But that doesn't make you money. What does make you money? Well, let's see. It's marketing, talking to sellers and making offers and following up. Like that's it. Obviously, you have to sell the houses and stuff. But really, what matters in this business? Hmm. Making offers. Like. That's it, right? And so Gavin and I have done this a challenge, accountability challenge before, and we're doing it again, but we're calling it the 30-day challenge, or it's a, a five sellers a day challenge, five sellers a day challenge. And the goal is to help people make five offers a day, right? And here's something real important. I, I think maybe this is what the podcast should be called. We'll see. Your speed to income is directly proportional to the number of offers that you make. Simple as that. Gavin, when we're coaching people and maybe they're having a hard time and they're struggling or they're asking us questions about uh, what kind of website should I have or do I need an LLC? Those are good questions. We answer them, but we constantly come back to what? How many offers have you made in the last week? Yep. And there's a reason for that. You know, it's not just like we're avoiding a question because like you said, we answer the question, but people need to understand that this is a process process right there's certain steps within real estate to complete a deal and there's no deal happening right until we get a contract so everything to a contract or sending an offer should i say not even a contract making an offer doesn't actually matter until you have the offer accepted and a contract has been made okay so we can focus on the start which is the four key things that you spoke about and the biggest one in there is making the offers and that's why we know that if you're not making offers right now and this is not even this is a fact right it's pretty much good enough to say that it's a fact right now if you're not making offers you're not making money you're not doing deals and that's what we need to change and if you want to make money in this business i think we all do it's why you're listening or watching this podcast right now is you, you want to make money in this business, right? I mean, we don't want to be professional students for the rest of our lives. That's depressing. We want to make offers. We, we want to make money. We want to do deals. So it all works down to this. Like if you want to make money in the business, well, then guess what? You need to make offers. And if you want to make offers, well, you got to talk to sellers or realtors. All right. Well, if you want to do that, you got to do marketing. So, all right, we're doing this 30-day challenge to focus on that. We want to challenge you guys, like, don't worry about steps one or steps seven and eight before you start doing steps one and two. And we see this over and over and over again. The students that are focusing on one and two, and just like, instead of asking, what if, what if this happens, what if that, they're instead now focusing on what next, what next, what next, what next. They're the ones that succeed. A lot of you guys, you already know what you need to do. You already have the education. You have the book. You don't even need like fancy, expensive courses. Like, you know what you need to do. There's enough information out there on YouTube and podcasts right now. You know what you need to do. You just need a friendly kick in the pants. You need some accountability, right? I think a lot of people right now, Gavin, just need some focus. They need some help getting some clarity. They need a community. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's critical right now that you have that. Um, and some people can't, you know, afford to get into coaching programs. And that's why we're, we're doing this, uh, you know, at a low price to try and help build that community uh, to be able to deliver good value, but at the same time, getting the results that, that people need. Um, and, and that's what we all need, right? We're all stuck at home, right? We're, we're all stuck at home and we've either got wives, girlfriends, kids, whatever it may be. And I don't know a lot of people are still working and you know we're thankful to them people doing that but a lot of us are stuck at home and uh and what we're seeing and we're seeing it within students as well is that people are training now what i mean by training is actually going through courses more than ever i am more 
more of them things and that's great but if you're not going to put these things into action then you're not going to get the results okay so it's what are you doing with your time and we need to make sure that you're doing 30 minutes of training a day and then the rest is on taking action is talking to themselves and making offers right not five hours going through videos that you've, your head's about to explode because of all the great information that you've received, but now how do you put it into action? And that's what we're trying to change. And we're going to be giving you permission to make mistakes. Yeah. That's, that's the interesting thing with this because so many of us are frozen in fear. Like, what if I make a bad offer? We're, no, we're telling you it's okay if you make a bad offer. It really is. Yeah. Right. Because as part of this accountability group, we're going to be reviewing the offers that you make. If you get a seller that says yes, we're going to be like, okay, let's review it. Um, and then we'll, we'll get, you, may, you, you can go back to the seller and fix your offer and renegotiate a new price. And so it's not like we're telling you to sign a contract and send it to the seller and letting them sign it. No, you sign it after they do. So we're talking about just, and let's talk about this, uh, the way we're going through this. Our goal is to, in the first week of this 30-day challenge, is to teach you every morning. Um, Gavin and I are going to be doing these calls the first week every morning, teaching you real simple marketing tactics. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. And then we're going to be teaching you real simple scripts. You get the seller on the phone, just ask them some basic, simple questions. If they have any interest at all in selling their house, it could be a wholesaling deal or a lease option deal, doesn't matter. Then you tell them, all right, we're going to send you an offer right? Then we're going to be training you how to just go to Redfin or Zillow and come up with some good, simple, fast numbers and send them an offer. It shouldn't take you longer than a few minutes to do the marketing, a few minutes to talk to the sellers and a few minutes to make the offer. Yeah. Now, five, five, offers sounds, five offers a day sounds like a lot to you. Well, it is, but once you learn how to do it, just quick, 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 this will actually, um, it, it makes it, everything a whole lot easier and, and you'll be making, you'll learn how to do it. And so that's our goal to teach you how to make these offers really quick. So we're going to be teaching you in the first week, some real simple marketing tactics. We're going to be focusing on two main ones, cold calling and SMS texting. Now we're not talking about blasting ringless voicemail, uh, blasting a thousand text messages, you know, using these fancy, complicated triple dialers or all that. We're not talking about hiring virtual assistants. Now you can, if you want. But um, we're going to be teaching you real simple, the fastest way to get leads, right? And then once you get them, they raise their hand and say, yeah, I might sell. Or I don't know, maybe send me an offer. Even if their motivation on a one to 10 looks like or feels like it's a one, oh, you don't have to sell them anything on the phone. You don't have to get them to agree to a huge discount on the phone. You don't have to get them to agree to a lease option on the phone. Just like, yeah, I want to sell. Maybe I'd consider it. I don't know. Then you say, okay, great. I'm going to send you an offer. Let's review it later, right? So that's all. Then we're going to give you a simple calculator. We're going to show you how to do it without a calculator. You can just have a pen and paper. You probably still need a push button calculator somewhere, right? But like, we're going to show you a real simple, fast, dirty, simple, easy, stupid, simple ways. Okay. We don't want to complicate this. We've got to make five offers a day. This can't be complicated. We're not going to, you don't need to go to 20 different websites. You don't need to get pictures. You don't need to look at repairs. You don't need to fill out a long, huge sheet of estimated repairs. We're just going to be showing you like, if it needs work, all right, five bucks a square foot, 10 bucks a square foot, 20 bucks a square foot, like that's it. And then we're going to round up to the nearest $5,000. Like that's all we're doing. And we may not even do any estimates for repairs. All right. So here's what I'm saying. We're going to break this down into real simple things. The first week we're going to teach you that stuff. And then every week we have a scorecard, online scorecard, you submit your numbers. And then the following three weeks, we're going to be meeting Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday mornings and just analyzing deals, looking at deals. All right. Offers that you made. If a, if a seller accepted your offer and you're like, oh crap, I think I've screwed this up. That's fine. We'll get on, look at the numbers and say, yeah, you know, that maybe actually is a good deal. Go ahead and, you know, assign the contract or um, we'll, we'll, sh we'll, we'll say, all right, now maybe you can tell them, listen, after I looked at the numbers, this isn't going to work. I actually, we need to offer this, not a big deal. Or you can just cancel your contract. We don't care about perfection. We care about progress. Yeah. This is the whole point of this massive, imperfect action, right? You've heard of the phrase from our mutual friend, Tom Kroll, like progress, not perfection. So we, that's what we want you to do is just make offers. Even if they're bad offers, make the offers because you'll learn as you go on how to do this.
Yeah. You want to add anything to that, Gavin? And that's how, you know, I got started. It was the same thing. You try and learn it all. You know, I'm panicking about the contracts. But when it becomes installed when you're not making any money because I'm not doing what I'm being told to do by a coach or a mentor or whoever is experienced. And they're all saying the same thing. Um, that you go, okay, well, maybe I just need to do this. And when you start to do it and it starts to work, um, then it really, the light bulb goes off. And some, a lot of time, you know, we talk a lot about mindset and sometimes you have to see it for yourself to believe it. Right. And, uh, and that's what this is going to do. And, and we talk about a 30 day challenge, but we can even talk about what's beyond this, because this is going to, this challenge is going to gain momentum and it's going to also put in a structure into your day to continue with. And that's what's going to be really important about this, right? It's routine. Routine is so important uh, in, in our life, just like waking up and having a coffee, right? It's our routine, maybe putting the news on if you watch the news or whatever your routine is. And that's what we need to build in. Your new routine is going to be five offers a day. And that's what it's going to be moving forward after this challenge. And you're just going to see deal after deal come with some follow up. And then it's going to spiral for you to actually turn this into a business. So is this for everybody? Yeah, maybe. But like, is everybody going to be able to do it? No. I think, you know, again, we're trying to simplify this because it doesn't need to be complicated. But we're saying, if you, how serious do you want this? How bad do you, badly do you want this? How much, you know, when I was uh, going through really, really hard financial times, um, we were facing foreclosures. I was losing a bunch of properties to short sales and foreclosure. And I was hemorrhaging cash. So I heard somebody ask this question. Who in your family is suffering because you're not making the money they deserve? Oh, when he said that, I'm like, oh my gosh, my family is suffering because I'm not making the money I was, I, they deserve. And I started thinking about that. And I'm just farting around studying course after course after course, you know? And it wasn't until I got that, I said, all right, I'm going to buy one more course, right? I talk about this a lot. And I'm just going to do what the guy says to do. I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to send his postcards, which I hated. I thought they were ugly. I'm going to use his script, which I thought was too simple. I'm going to use his contract, which I thought was just simple, like too many holes, like I, like I knew better. I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to question. I'm just going to do it. You know, I didn't start seeing success until I was held myself accountable. We're going to make this even easier. We're going to hold you accountable. I wish I would have had something like this when I was getting started. You know, some of you guys, this isn't a big deal to you. You're like, oh man, I got it. I'm going to do it and you do it. Most of you all, maybe like me, you overanalyze everything. You study things too much. You spend way too much time studying and not getting out there and just doing it. Like, um, let, let's jump off the building and figure out how to fly as we fall. Yeah. Although when you're in an accountability group like this, we're not going to let you fall, okay? Because when you make the offer, we're going to say, all right, now, that's good. Go ahead and do the contract. Sign it. Or, yeah, you know what? You need to adjust your numbers a little bit. But here, we, we're, we we're wanting to find a small group of people that are willing to do whatever it takes, and we're going to push you out of your comfort zone and hold you accountable to what really matters. That's the whole goal of this challenge, right? What really, really matters. Um, yeah. If you guys are interested in this, go to fivesellersaday.com. You can spell it out five or not. Fivesellersaday.com. Go check it out. It, as we're recording this, it actually starts next week and then we're shutting the doors down. We're not letting any more people in. It's ridiculously cheap. We've charged five times as much for this in the past. And uh, here's the cool thing though. Uh, some of our most successful students have come from these challenges that we've done in the past. Uh, so I, I'm excited about this. Gavin, would you talk about the um, completion challenge? We're, we're, we're giving people their money back? What? Yeah. So we, we did, the, you know, one step further. We've, we've done this probably three times before. We haven't done it for over a year now. Uh, we're doing it way cheaper because of obviously what's going on right now. And we're even putting it in where if you complete the challenge and it's not crazy, all you've got to do is five offers a day. Okay. Um, and if you do that, which is what, 100 offers in a, in a month, um, then we will give you your investment back. Which is, which is huge. And the only requirement that we have is two to do that. Uh, on, a, on a Sunday or a Monday for the previous week, 
you are going to be submitting your numbers. Okay, so every week you have to submit your numbers and you can have two days to fill that out, which is going to be about three to four things. It's nothing crazy and it's not going to take you a whole lot of time. And then the only other thing is, is that when the refund comes because you've made this challenge. We have a quick look that you actually made the offers through your CRM or your email, uh, and then we will refund you no problem, okay? And the reason we're doing this is because there has to be a goal. There's got to be something in there. You have to invest. If this was free, you wouldn't do it, okay? So it's got to be enough for you to actually do and to drive forward because if nothing's on the table, you can give in day one right? But you need to set the example because if you set the example in the mindset of I need to set an example for the rest of the group and everyone does that, then it's going to drive everybody else on. If everyone gives up, then it becomes no one gets anywhere, right? And we're going to be sharing what we're doing in our business along the way. We're going to have a ton of interaction from live Zoom calls. Uh, week one, we're going to be going live every single day. And then from there to the next three weeks, we're going to be doing it three times a week. So a ton of inf in, uh, interaction to keep you accountable, to analyze your deals, to role play with you. Whatever it is that you need, we're going to try and bring it and make this happen. Uh, and plus, we'll be telling you what we're doing in our business from land investing, okay, from the deals that we do virtual. We're going to be saying this is what we are doing right now, so we're in this with you. We're not just sitting here for, for 30 minutes a day just telling you what to do. Our team's going to be doing it as well along with you. Yep. So we have a private Facebook group. You can get in and ask questions. We'll analyze your offers if the seller accepts it. Um, and here's the thing. Again, we don't want you worrying about steps seven and eight. So if you get a deal under contract, either myself or Gavin or one of our students who already are doing deals, we'll partner with you on it. Okay. We'll just partner with you on it. We'll help you find the buyers. We'll help you do the marketing and we'll split the profits 50, 50. We don't want you worrying about steps seven and eight. Yeah. We're just going to be helping you to helping you coach on this. Now um, I'm excited about this because as you learn what to do, what we do, you could be making 10, 20 offers a day, right? So if you miss a day, or, and, and by the way, we're also, it's five offers a day. Um, so there's five, five days a week. You, you have a Saturday and a Sunday to catch up. Does that make sense? Yeah. So five offers a day is 25 offers a week times four weeks is a hundred offers. That's how we came up with the number, but you have weekends to catch up. And as you start going through this, you're going to be like, man, I can make seven offers a day, 10 offers a day. Uh, let's do a quick example, Gavin, of, uh, of like a, how this whole process might work from beginning to end. All right. We're going to, and we're going to be, you don't have to use our CRM, which is called REI simple, but we're going to be showing you a lot of it, how it works in REI simple. We're going to go and pick a zip code. We're going to pull a list of vacant property owners. We're going to skip trace them and we're going to get a bunch of phone numbers. All right. And uh, we're just going to go through and call them and text them. And there's a way you can do this really simple, simply and fast. And right. And uh, let's role play real quick. Gavin, I'm yeah. going to send out, you know, let's just say a hundred text messages, make a hundred quick phone calls or whatever. And, and the REI simple makes this really easy to do. And uh, so I text Gavin, Hey, um, I see your property at one, two, three main street. You know, you're not interested in selling it. Maybe are you? And you reply back. Yeah, I might. And so let's get on the phone. Keep this real short and simple. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Gavin, this is Joe. How are you? I was just texting you a minute ago. Yeah, I'm good, Joe. How are you doing? Hey, good, good. Listen, I just want to keep this short and sweet. I know you're super busy. Uh, you got this investment, uh, this property I think you own at 123 Main Street. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. I'm an investor. I'm looking for some more property in the area. Can you tell me a little bit about the house? Yeah, um, I've had it, you know, we've, we've put it on Zillow of sell by owner about okay. seven days ago. Yeah. Uh, this is the last rental that I have. And um, yeah, we're just trying to sell it. Okay, so what are you, what are you asking for on Zillow right now? Um, one fifty-five. One fifty-five. Okay, is your price negotiable? Or are you pretty firm on that? Uh, no, maybe. What would you offer? Well, I don't know yet. I've not really looked at it yet. Um, but what I can do is I can do a little research and maybe send you an offer. Yeah, that's fine. Let me let me ask you one more question here. Um, if I can't get you the price that you want, would you be willing to maybe owner finance or do a lease purchase, lease it for a year or two, and then sell it? That probably wouldn't work, would it? Um. Maybe. I mean, I'd like to sell it ideally, yeah. uh, but you know, if it doesn't sell with what's going on right now, I'd, I'd p potentially, uh, if you bought some money down, I'd be open to that. Okay. Let me look it up here. Okay. Here, I got it on Google maps here. Um, I got it on Zillow here. Um, looks like a nice house. Tell me like why, why I'm sure you've gotten a ton of offers, right? 
Yeah, seven days. That's some interest. Obviously, what's going on? I, I don't know what the market's going to do. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm just selling my last uh, property myself. Um, so, but we have had some interest, yes, and uh, I've got a lot of box on there. So we've had some realtors uh, showing it for us as well. That are just bring oh, buyers. Yeah, because I was going to ask if you really want to sell it. Why don't you just list it on the MLS with a realtor or something like that? Well, yeah, I just thought I'd try myself. I don't want to pay the commissions, you know, yeah. and have the hassle. But if they have a buyer and they want to go buy, then, you know, I've made that available right now. So we don't have to come into contact. All right. So you're not in a big hurry to sell it? Not really, no. Okay. Well, let me do this. Let me do some research. And uh, I have your uh, number here. Can I send you an offer in, in an email or would you rather yeah. just me? Okay. Like what got your email uh, one, here? One to at gmail.com. Okay, cool. Hey, listen, Gavin, it's good talking to you. I'm going to do a little research. I'll send you an offer, and if it works, great. Awesome. Sounds good. Thanks, Joe. All right, good. Now, off role play. I might have gone into maybe telling me, tell me a little bit more about the house, but I can see the pictures on Zillow. Um, but I'm just, just trying to ask a lot of questions. I'm not trying to sell them or convince them of anything. Um, if you're doing lease options, you might say, well, you wouldn't be interested in maybe leasing it for a little bit and then selling it, see what they say. Yeah. If they just, if you're just doing regular cash wholesaling, ask them questions about the house. Ask them about the neighborhood. Is it, is that a good fair price for this crazy market? You know, I, I like asking the question. Uh, why don't you just list it with a realtor? You could say, why hasn't it sold yet? It looks like a nice house. Um, you got lots of time, right? Um, the uh, what are you going to do if you can't sell the house? Are you going to rent it out? So just yep. asking questions. We're going to give you real simple scripts. Okay. Yep. Um, we're not trying to con sell them or convince them of any kind of lease option program or, you know, we're just asking a bunch of questions. Yep. Uh, when it comes to making an offer, I'm going to look this property up on Zillow. Uh, now, based on Gavin's motivation, he's probably a two or three out of 10, right? Not very motivated at all. I'm, you know, he's willing to pay realtor commissions, but he is a little negotiable on this price, just wants to sell it. So what I'm going to do is I can see some pictures um, and I guess in this example, it doesn't need a ton of work, but it's kind yeah. of, it's almost, it's rent ready. So, yeah. um, and, and, and let's just say this is a nicer home. That's uh, what were you asking again for it? 155. 155. So I'm just going to do a simple Mayo formula. I'm going to take the Zillow. I'll take the average of Zillow, Epraisal and Redfin times 70%. Okay. Minus, I'm just going to do 10 grand for repairs minus my wholesale fee of 10 grand. And that's my cash offer. And then I'm going to send that to him. If I know, if I want to do lease options, I might also send him a lease option offer. Okay. That's it. Just yeah. taking the average of Zillow, Epraisal, Redfin to get us ARV, subtract a little bit for repairs, subtract my wholesale fee Well, times 70%, you know, and that's it. Were you going to say something to that again? No, yeah, you're exactly right. And, um, you know, what we're going to see in this as well, everyone's at a different level. So, you know, if you're brand new, all you need to do is gather information. You don't even need to say, hey, let me bring Zillow up. It seems like this. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Say, hey, I came across it on Zillow. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Gather information and then say, okay, I've got this. Let me go and do some research and I'll come back and make the best uh, possible offer I can on this property. And it could stop there. And then you can go have a quick look, go back and make the offer. Um, Let, yeah. Let's do one where you're a realtor, Gavin. Okay. All right. So one of the ways that we're going to teach you how to do marketing is to talk to realtors, to agents. Okay. So ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Gavin, my name is Joe. I see your property here on, um, at, at 123 Main Street. Are you the listing agent? Yes, I am. Hey. Well, good. Thanks. Thanks for taking my call. Listen, I, I'm an investor and I'm looking for some more property in the area. Uh, this looks like a really nice house. I just wanted to ask you a few questions about it first to see if it would be something I'd be interested in. Is that okay? Yeah, no, yeah, no, no problem. Um, good. I'm just looking at the pictures here. Um, it, it looks like it needs some work, but um, is, was this, was, did an investor own this house or are they just trying to sell it? Yeah, this was an investor. Um, he's just selling it. The tenants have literally just left. Okay. And, um, you know, the pictures, they're just selling it as is, as you can see from yeah. the pictures. Needs a little bit of work, but nothing crazy. Structurally, it's great. Probably just a paint and a carpet. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Well, it looks like it's been here on, the, on, the, on Redfin for or the MLS for like 93 days. Is that right? Uh, yes, that probably sounds about right. Why do you think it hasn't sold yet? Um, if you want my honest opinion, Joe, he's, he's not 
too flexible on that price okay. and uh, he thinks he's going to get it. You know, he's an investor and, uh, you know, I've tried to say, hey, I think, I think we need to lower it, but he's, uh, he wants to hold out. He's having none of it. Has he been getting a lot of offers? I'm just curious. Uh, we've had some calls on it and, you know, from investors that want to make offers, but they're just way lower than what he'll accept. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, cause I, you know, I don't want to waste your time with ridiculous low ball offers, but like how negotiable is he on his price? Um, not much, <laughs> not much. Okay. Opinion. Yeah. Not, not, not a whole lot. I mean, you can make an offer and I'll present it. Um, but he doesn't want to drop it too much. I'm just going to give you a heads up. Let me just ask you one more question. He wouldn't be, he wouldn't consider maybe some kind of creative financing, maybe like owner financing or lease purchase or something like that. Would he? Uh, maybe. I mean, I don't. He's got a mortgage on it, so he, he wouldn't be able to own to finance it. But he, he might. Do you know about how much he owes by any chance? He owes, I think, about forty three thousand. Off like role that. play, but realtors are not going to. Sometimes, depending on their how motivated the realtor is, they won't tell you these tell kinds you that, of numbers. Yeah. But I'm still asking anyway. Right. And, and, and off that, I'm trying to take the approach here. It's 93 days and I'm over the guy and he's not yeah. listening. So I'm going to give you a bit more yeah. just so you're not going to waste my time because it's 93 days. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So I'm now kind of taking the angle of more op- is he open to creative financing or something? Yeah. Uh, well, listen, how about this, Gavin? Let me just look at it over a little bit and I'll send you a... I'll send you something to me. I'm not going to fill out a whole contract or anything like that. But how about I just email you some numbers and uh, you can look it over, talk to the client and, and your client. And if he's interested, then maybe we can, like, we can do the more, um, a more formal contract. Is that all right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sounds let, good. Let me tell you something too. Um, you can actually even represent me if you want. I don't know if your broker will allow that, but y- you can represent me and get both sides of the commissions if you want. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that sounds good. If you don't mind me asking, Joe, what criteria are you looking for? I know you said you're an investor. I mean, I can be out there looking as well and start sending you things. Yeah, that's awesome because I was just going to ask you if you know of anybody else that has any properties like this they'd want to sell or, you know, but I'm looking for, you know, I don't know, three, four bedrooms um, in this type of an area. Um, sometimes I, I hold, I buy them and fix them up and just hold them for long-term rentals. Sometimes I fix and flip them and sell them. Um, okay. So, so it just depends on the deal, but I'm looking for properties that need a lot of work. I like, I like properties that maybe are off market, aren't listed yet. Uh, okay. Sometimes if I can't get the, the price that I want, I can give the seller the price that they want if they're willing to do some creative financing, like a lease purchase or owner financing or something. Okay. Yeah. Well, if anything that I get, I'll send you away. You know, we've always got some listings yeah. you know, that I try and send out before they actually hit to give yeah. uh, some people a heads up so I can, you know, add you to my list. Awesome. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to look at some numbers here and I'll shoot you an email and I'll follow up. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks. All right, so now what I'm going to do, go to Redfin Zillow, look at the comps, make a cash offer, Maybe also make an lease purchase offer or an owner financing offer. Super yeah. simple. And we're going to teach you how to make those fast offers. What were you going to say, Gavin? And I was going to say, you know, obviously we finished the role play, but the reason I took that is because this, I would be classed as an investor friendly realtor. This is what really will happen. In Savannah, we just called on one that went on for seven hours. We called and it was a, it was needed a ton of work. And she literally drove the conversation and said, Hey, what are you looking for? I've got another one on the other side of the street coming up. Uh, I can send you that. So the investor ones are going to be much more proactive with you and they will actually start fishing deals on the, that's huge. That's huge. That's so big right now. And so we're not looking for nice properties that have just been on the MLS for a week. No, we're looking for properties that need work that need fixing up that have been on the market already for a couple, three months. And those are the realtors we're going to start calling. So we'll teach you all of this stuff. Super simple. Give you real simple scripts. And uh, you just get out there and make it happen. Yeah. The fastest path to cash in right now in this market is making offers. The more offers you make, the more chances you are of having success and getting some deals under contract. Okay. And it just takes practice. If you listen to what we did, I mean, we made a lot of mistakes. We could have said things differently or better. But it's real simple. It's just having a conversation, asking some questions, coming up with a simple, fast offer and sending it. And we'll partner with you on the deal. Either me or Gavin or one of our coaching students will partner with you on the deal. And uh, you don't have to worry about all the steps involved or finding the buyers or marketing the property on a website. We'll help you with that stuff later. Let's just get this. 
Let's just make some offers. Make sense? Love it. Awesome. So guys, if you're interested in this right now, go to, Oh, it just looks like I signed out here. I'm still recording. I think yep. if you're interested in this here, go to five sellers a day.com five sellers a day.com. Cool. Yep. And one thing I just want to touch on real quick, Joe, that you said earlier, you said maybe this isn't for everybody and maybe it is. And the good thing is with this challenge and the way that we've structured it, you have the choice to make it for you or not for you if you're willing to do the work, right? So this isn't on ability or how many deals you've done or not done, okay? You are going to decide if you're going to make this happen. And, uh, and, and you know, if you are, and this is for you, then let's go because we're going to bring it. We're not going to hold anything back. You're going to have... You can ask any question you want in the Facebook group. We're going to answer as many as we can uh, and give value to, to try and get as many deals locked up uh, as possible for you guys. Awesome. I love it. I'm excited about this. And uh, somebody's trying to kick me out of Zoom right now, so I guess I'm late for a meeting. Um, appreciate you, Gavin. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, Jeff. Guys, go to 5sellersaday.com, 5sellersaday.com. And you can spell five or do the number five. They both work, I hope. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys in there. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.